Hi everyone, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely week. So for today's video, we have another episode of making earrings out of random things in my house. So yeah, let's just get into it. Actually, no, before we get into it, I just need to show you. Okay. Ah! This is so exciting. So this wonderful, beautiful, amazing person who owns a small earring business sent me a pair of earrings, which is so crazy and so cool. Their business name is Petal Jewelry. I'll link it down below. I'll link their Pinterest down below. They sent me these beautiful earrings and I just wanted to show you because I'm so excited that someone sent me a pair of earrings. I can't believe it. Someone would like to spend their money and send it to me. Thank you so much. This is so cool. Let me show you the earrings. Talented, brilliant, incredible. So the first idea I had, we have so many pairs paper straws and paper straws are so useless let's be real and they just melt and then it's just like soggy paper trying to drink your drink and it's disgusting so I thought what I could do is cut them into small pieces and like stack them and make like a dangly earring does that make sense this might be the ugliest thing ever but it also might be the cutest so we'll find out I had like four pairs of pliers and now I can only find one Tell me the three best things about you. Absolutely not. Is it ever right to tell a lie? Yes, of course. Ugh. Get in there, love. Do you follow horoscopes? No. Why do I say no? I absolutely do. Not like religiously, but every so often I'll look at them. I more just follow like what my sign is. I'm a Pisces. I've also, my other two big ones are Scorpio and Taurus, I think. When I told my friend I had Scorpio, she was like, yeah, that makes sense. Which, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I love a Scorpio. Jojo Siwa came out. That's so cool. That is literally the coolest thing ever. <laughs> B-movie, you like jazz. What if anything makes you angry? Uh, I don't really personally get angry that often. Oh, God, I've literally glued my finger to the pliers. <gasps> oh, God. Ah. I literally just ripped some of my skin off. <laughs> but I, I love being petty. That's one of my, probably my biggest downfall is that I'm very petty and I enjoy being petty. I'm very, I'm passive aggressive. That's what I am, which a lot of people hate. A lot of people, that's like their biggest pet peeve, but I love it. <laughs> I sound like an actual psycho. Everyone's like, right, clicking off. I couldn't fight. I'm just here to fight. I could never be in a physical fight. I would just like, Ugh. but an argument, oof, I'd win. Hello? I'm a baby boy. I've got a super good. My dog, Dennis, he keeps coming in. And then when I shut the door, he wants to get out. So I open the door, let him out and shut the door. And then he barks at the door from the other side. And I'll let him in. And then he wants to go out because I shut the door. And I'm like, what? While they, uh, the glue and everything is drying on the straw ones, I had another idea. So I have all these little mini elastic bands. So I thought I could make some little mini elastic band balls. I'm gonna make some little balls out of this clay and then basically just wrap elastic bands around the little ball. I've made the two little balls and I'm just gonna put them to the sides. I feel like super glue is probably dry on the other on I feel like the super glue is probably dry on the straw ones. I'm gonna continue doing them. So I finished the straw earrings. It's actually really good. I love this. That's actually like a wearable earring. Also, did you know that according to all known laws of aviation, a little beast should not be on playing on wings is too fat to carry their fat little bodies off the ground, but they do anyway because they don't care about what humans think. Another idea I had was I have loads of scrap fabric. So there's something on my face. I feel like this whole video is like reuse, reduce, recycle because I'm reusing fabric that I would otherwise throw away. Well, I wouldn't because I'm a hoarder, so I just keep it in my cupboard. But you know, I genuinely might be on something here and next week I'll be like on the cover of Vogue. It is easier to get a, 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 a thingy through the eye of an, a camel through the eye of a needle than it is to get a rich man into heaven. Aww. And I'm getting annoyed because I can't pass this stupid piece of thread through the eye of a needle. So it'll be easier to get a rich man to heaven than put thread through the eye of a needle. My puppy is farting so bad. Oh my god. What word do you always misspell? I can't spell jewellery for the life of me. What if anything makes you afraid? I'm scared of anything, everything. I'm a very fearful person. I don't like any situation that puts you in potential danger. You know, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm like the opposite. I'd like to be home with a cup of tea and with my puppies, being safe, staying safe and away from the dangers of the outside world. 
What trend has, that has died out would you like to see come back? Oh, everyone's gonna hate me after I say this. Knee high converse. You wanna know what? No, I am gonna leave. What unpleasant smell do you really enjoy? Um, who smell my own farts? <laughs> oh, oh. I am disgusted. I think I'm feeling that this might have been a flop. What the <laughs> fuck is going on in here? Okay, we will not be in the cover of Vogue. <laughs> okay, let's just swiftly move on. Do you collect anything? Uh, mental illnesses? Do you yell at the TV? Oh yeah, I love yelling at the TV. People are so stupid and it frustrates me. Also, sometimes about politics. I, I do get quite heated about politics and I yell at the TV. Especially the, the um, the, uh, the oh, <clears throat> what? I didn't say anything. Oh, I'm an empath. <laughs> That was the last time I- <laughs> That was me trying to do a, a Southern American accent. How many pairs of earrings we've made? Literally two. Why am I so slow? So next I have some um, wooden forks and knives and I thought these would be cute. I could like cut them here, but it, they're like wooden so I don't know if I can. Oh, I can. I guess I could screw it. Screw a hole in. Muscle man! Oh my god, I'm so strong. We don't need no man! Give me a wee! Wee! Give me a don't! Don't! Ah! Give me a need! Need! Give me a A! A! Give me a man! Man! <laughs> we don't need no man! We don't need no man! Men, we don't need them to be strong because we're strong, independent women! What is something that is really out of your comfort zone? leaving the house. I was just checking my dog hadn't pooed in my room because it actually smells like he has. So I've made the fork and spoon earrings. I actually love these, these are so cool. I also have this singular bottle of, that's supposed to be like a sriracha bottle, but I got it for ketchup so I could bring ketchup everywhere with me. But then I remembered that I have a fear of eating in front of other people, so I don't even need it. I thought we could turn it into an earring and then we could put some Cholula in it and bring it around to downstairs because we can't, again, we can't leave the house. There it is. So another idea I had is I have these, uh, loads of these little plastic, squares and i obviously don't want to throw them away because it's a bit of a waste but i thought that i could paint them so i'm gonna paint these later tonight i'll show you them tomorrow because i don't want to get them on my white cardigan but i have literally hundreds of them so i'm gonna make so many it'll be so poggers i think i had so many ideas but they've all just gone out the window my i'm gonna make the elastic band balls later as well i'm gonna go cook these but i can't be bothered like going and then cooking them and then coming back my life is so difficult like i have to go downstairs and then back upstairs <laughs> it's hard not to get emotional about it i'm so sorry <laughs> i'll be brave <coughs> so annoying so i think that's for now, don't be going anywhere. Don't be thinking the video's over and then clicking off, hey? That's all the earrings I'm making for now, but I'll make more and then I will show you them all. Not goodbye, but see you later. Three days later. Hi everyone, I've finished making my earrings and now it's time to show you all the ones that I've made. I haven't made too many, but it's fine. You know, we're just all about the vibes here. That's all that matters. Okay, let's start bad and go to good. So, one of the ideas that I had, as you saw, was I had all these little um, plastic things and i thought i could like paint cute pictures on them and but i had a severe lapse in judgment and i forgot that i'm not at all artistic and that i literally cannot paint for shit i have the vision and the idea but not the skills so let me show you the attempt and then i'll show you the one pair i made from like the 16 little plastic things i had so an idea i had was like oh i could do like pink and blue spots this is how they came out unattractive and then i thought let me do purple with like an orange swirl unworthy untalented the one that was kind of semi-successful but i hate it with every ounce of my body is this one yellow and black stripes these actually have the whole script of b-movie written on it and i know you're thinking it doesn't look like it has letters written on it but they're so small that you'll never be able to tell if i'm lying or not so you just have to believe me so i'm giving these a literal minus 100 out of 10 they're fucking ugly i want to throw them in the bin i want to burn them i want to set them on fire i want to take them into prison and i want to i want to i want to send them to the police station and put and and tell the police that they they killed someone moving on then i you saw me do the fork and the spoon the wooden fork and spoon i actually 
you love these. I think these are so sick. I thought you'd just walk around and people would be like, what the fuck? And that's kind of the reaction I want. And also, if you're going out for a meal, short of cutlery, just go, oh, don't worry, love, got me earrings. Stunning and practical. I'm gonna give them 40 out of 10, lovely. Again, stunning and practical. My, uh, my little sauce bottle. I haven't put any sauce in it because I haven't decided what I wanna put in it yet, so. Is this a bit serious? Oh, I also found some little Lego. So I just put a little hole in them and put a ring through them. I thought they were sexy. I also have some little rubber ducks and I'm literally not gonna wear these as earrings, but I just thought it was cute to have little rubber duck earrings. Okay, now on to my faves, the last three faves. Basically, I found these little things that you use to stick wires onto walls and I thought that the cover that was on them was really cute so I just put a hole in them, put some eye pins in them and then made them into earrings but how cute! Given them a 10 out of 10. Then the straw earrings, again these are sick. I'm gonna say, this is probably up there with one of my most genius creations. They are so sick. You get your straw, cut it up into even sized pieces then depending on how, how many danglies you want, maybe you want two, maybe you want three, maybe you want four, um, you put little holes in each side of the straw, put an eye pin through each hole, super glue it in, let it dry, and then you just connect them together with jump rings. And then the bottom one, you only put one eye pin. So easy and so fun. These are little Manchester bees one. Manchester bees one. I'm Manchester girl, don't hate me. That girl's next time on a date. You want to take me to Mackey's and that? Because their girlfriend is a little rat. Um, I'm very proud to be from Manchester, it's my favourite place on earth and I love the Manchester Bee because we're all worker bees because I work so hard and I'm not lazy and I don't spend my time watching TV instead of doing productive things so like I really reflect the Manchester Bee. Okay and then I also did it with these straws, they kind of look like um, cigarettes. It's three in the morning and I'm trying to change your mind. Oh, why do you only call me when you're high? Love Arctic Monkeys, my jeez. The last ones I made, I'm so proud of. I think they're so sick. So as you saw, I made those two little clay balls and I just cooked them in the oven. Then I put an eye pin in the top and glued it. And then I just wrapped the little balls in mini elastic bands. And I just think they're so cool. Mini elastic band earrings. How are they not the coolest things you've ever seen? Like little mini elastic band ball earrings. That's all the earrings I made. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I didn't make many, but as I said, it's about the vibes, it's about the fun we have, and we had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a lovely week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and dab on the haters.